Imagine waking up one morning to the ground beneath you trembling, buildings swaying, and alarms blaring. Now picture this not as a minor tremor, but as the beginning of a mega quake, one so powerful that it could reshape landscapes and rewrite seismic history. Scientists have just uncovered a hidden ancient fault line beneath Nevada, and the implications are both fascinating and terrifying. Could this newly discovered fault trigger a superquake? How did it remain undetected for so long? And more importantly, what does this mean for the people living in its potential impact zone? Today, we're diving deep into this shocking discovery, unraveling the science behind fault lines, earthquakes, and the potential for a devastating seismic event in the near future. We'll explore how this fault was found, what experts are saying about its danger, and whether or not we're prepared for such a catastrophic event. So stick with us as we journey into the Earth's hidden secrets and uncover what scientists fear could be a ticking geological time bomb. Are we sitting on borrowed time? Stay tuned to find out. The discovery, how an unknown fault lay hidden for so long. For decades, geologists have meticulously mapped out fault lines across the United States. Some, like the infamous San Andreas Fault, are well documented and frequently studied. Others are buried deep beneath layers of rock, waiting for the right moment to reveal themselves. This brings us to Nevada, a region already prone to seismic activity, yet considered less hazardous compared to its neighbor, California. The answer lies in the fault's unique geological structure. Unlike surface faults that leave visible scars on the land, this ancient fault, now called the Shrouded Rift Fault, is a blind thrust fault. This means it doesn't break the surface, making it nearly impossible to detect without advanced subsurface imaging technology. Traditional mapping techniques rely on physical evidence, disruptions in the landscape, shifts in rock formations, or historical earthquake records. However, the shrouded rift fault remained hidden, silently accumulating stress beneath the Earth's crust. Furthermore, the region's complex geological history played a role in concealing this fault. Over millions of years, sedimentary deposits from ancient lakes, volcanic activity, and tectonic shifts have layered over the fault, effectively masking its presence. Even minor tremors in the area were attributed to other, smaller known faults rather than suggesting a larger, undiscovered system. Scientists stumbled upon this fault using LIDAR, light detection and ranging, and seismic reflection profiling. These tools allowed them to peer deep beneath the Earth's surface, revealing a massive, previously unknown fault stretching for miles beneath Nevada. Unlike traditional seismic monitoring, which relies on ground motion sensors to detect activity. These newer technologies enable researchers to create high-resolution images of underground structures. One of the most unsettling discoveries was that the shrouded rift fault is not dormant. It appears to be active. Data analysis suggests that it has produced moderate earthquakes in the past, though they were previously misattributed to other geological features. The fault's orientation and stress accumulation indicate it has the potential to generate significant seismic events, prompting geologists to reassess Nevada's overall earthquake risk. The discovery of the shrouded rift fault challenges long-held assumptions about Nevada's seismic landscape. While California has been the primary focus of earthquake preparedness due to its well-known fault systems, this finding suggests that Nevada may also be at greater risk than previously thought. Emergency planners and engineers must now consider the possibility of strong, unexpected earthquakes in areas where critical infrastructure may not be adequately reinforced. The presence of this hidden fault also raises an important question. How many more undiscovered faults exist across the U.S. and the world? If a fault of this magnitude could remain hidden for so long, there may be other blind thrust faults accumulating stress beneath populated regions. Scientists are now advocating for expanded use of advanced imaging technology to reassess seismic hazards in other parts of the country, particularly in areas with dense sedimentary cover. The revelation of the shrouded rift fault underscores the importance of continuous research in earthquake science. 
While predicting earthquakes remains a challenge, understanding hidden faults allows communities to take proactive steps in mitigation. Infrastructure can be reinforced, building codes can be updated, and residents can be educated about earthquake preparedness. As geologists continue to refine their understanding of Earth's complex fault systems, one thing remains clear. There is still much to learn about the unseen forces shaping our planet. The discovery of the shrouded rift fault is just the beginning, and it serves as a reminder that the ground beneath us is far from stable. How dangerous is this fault? The discovery alone is significant, but what makes this fault particularly alarming is its seismic potential. According to experts, the fault has accumulated centuries, perhaps millennia of stress. This means the pressure along its length is building up, just waiting for the right trigger. But what exactly does this mean for Nevada and beyond? If this fault were to rupture, it could unleash an earthquake of magnitude 7.5 or higher, comparable to the devastating Northridge earthquake of 1994, or even the Great San Francisco earthquake of 1906. The effects wouldn't just be felt locally. Ground shaking could travel hundreds of miles, impacting neighboring states like California, Utah, and Arizona. The extensive damage to infrastructure, including highways, bridges, and pipelines, could disrupt supply chains and isolate entire communities. Moreover, the potential for aftershocks would extend the danger, causing additional destruction in the days or even weeks following the initial event. What makes blind thrust faults particularly dangerous is their sudden and unexpected nature. Since they don't break the surface, traditional fault mapping methods can't detect them easily, and their quakes strike without clear warning signs. This unpredictability means that communities in and around Nevada may not be adequately prepared, and without proper retrofitting of buildings, the potential for catastrophic collapse is significantly higher. Dr. Emily Carter, a leading seismologist, warns, this discovery reshapes how we understand Nevada's seismic risk. The shrouded rift fault is a hidden menace, and its potential for triggering a major earthquake cannot be ignored. She emphasizes the importance of further research and seismic monitoring to determine just how soon this fault might rupture. In response to this discovery, state officials are now assessing the need for stricter building codes and emergency preparedness measures. Schools, hospitals, and public utilities must undergo seismic risk evaluations, ensuring they can withstand an earthquake of this magnitude. Meanwhile, scientists are pushing for increased funding for ground-penetrating radar studies to map out the fault's full extent and determine which regions are at the highest risk. The question is not if, but when, this fault will rupture. The discovery underscores the urgent need for proactive measures to safeguard lives, strengthen infrastructure, and enhance early warning systems. Without action, Nevada and its neighboring states may be caught unprepared when disaster strikes. What triggers a superquake? Earthquakes happen when built-up stress in the Earth's crust is suddenly released. This stress accumulates over time due to the constant movement of tectonic plates which slowly shift and grind against each other. But what exactly triggers a superquake? The term superquake refers to a high magnitude seismic event, typically above 8.5 on the Richter scale, that not only shakes the ground violently, but also triggers a cascade of geological reactions. These events have the potential to cause widespread devastation, collapsing buildings, shifting landscapes, and even altering the course of rivers. Understanding the triggers of such massive quakes is crucial for improving prediction models and disaster preparedness. Superquakes primarily originate along tectonic plate boundaries, especially in subduction zones where one plate is forced beneath another. As the plates push against each other, friction prevents immediate movement, allowing stress to build over decades or centuries. When the stress reaches a critical point, it is suddenly released, 
causing the plates to slip violently and sending powerful seismic waves through the Earth. Historical examples include the 1960 Valdivia earthquake in Chile, magnitude 9.5, and the 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake, magnitude 9.1, both of which occurred in subduction zones. One controversial factor that may contribute to fault activation is human-induced seismicity, activities like deep earth drilling, hydraulic fracturing, fracking, and large-scale groundwater extraction have been known to exacerbate existing fault stress, sometimes even acting as the final trigger for a quake. For example, wastewater injection from oil and gas operations has been linked to increased seismic activity in Oklahoma, where earthquake frequency has risen significantly in recent years. Similarly, large reservoirs created by dam construction can alter underground stress patterns, as seen in the 2008 Sichuan earthquake in China, which some scientists believe was influenced by the weight of a nearby reservoir. Nevada is home to several mining operations, geothermal plants, and underground water reservoirs. While the evidence linking these activities to major quakes remains inconclusive, experts caution that even a small disruption in an already stressed fault could set off a chain reaction. Mining activities, which involve removing vast amounts of material from beneath the Earth's surface, can cause local stress changes. Geothermal energy extraction, which relies on pumping water into deep hot rock formations, may also affect fault lines by altering pressure conditions. Additionally, excessive groundwater extraction can lead to land subsidence and potentially impact fault stability. Superquakes are particularly dangerous because they can trigger additional geological hazards such as tsunamis, landslides, and aftershocks. The 2011 Tohoku earthquake in Japan, magnitude 9.0, not only caused immense destruction on land, but also generated a massive tsunami that led to the Fukushima nuclear disaster. Some researchers speculate that a large enough earthquake in the western United States could set off seismic activity along interconnected faults, potentially impacting areas far beyond the initial rupture zone. While the primary triggers of superquakes remain deeply tied to natural tectonic processes, human activities can play a role in influencing fault stability. By closely monitoring seismic activity near industrial operations and studying historical patterns, scientists hope to refine earthquake prediction models and improve mitigation strategies. Ultimately, understanding the triggers of superquakes is essential for minimizing their devastating impact on communities worldwide. Could this earthquake happen soon? So, the big question remains, is this fault ready to rupture? Seismologists use various techniques to predict earthquake probabilities, including GPS monitoring, historical seismic data, and stress accumulation models. Right now, estimates suggest that there is a 20 to 30% chance of a significant earthquake occurring along this fault in the next 50 years. However, this percentage only reflects a probability range based on available data and predicting the exact timing of a quake remains one of the greatest challenges in geophysics. One of the main indicators of an impending earthquake is the accumulation of strain within the Earth's crust. Over time, tectonic plates shift and exert pressure along fault lines. When this stress exceeds the fault strength, the energy releases suddenly in the form of an earthquake. In the case of the Shrouded Rift Fault, geologists have recorded increasing strain using satellite-based GPS measurements, which suggests that stress is indeed building. Historically, faults that have gone a long time without activity can become more likely to experience a rupture. The last major earthquake in Nevada was in 1954, when a 7.2 magnitude quake struck the Fairview Peak area. That means the region has been relatively quiet for decades, perhaps too quiet. This absence of activity could mean that strain has accumulated significantly, making the possibility of a rupture more imminent. Geologists believe that faults don't stay dormant forever. Once stress reaches a breaking point, it will release in a violent burst. And if the shrouded rift fault 
is as primed as scientists believe, it's not a matter of if, but when. While seismic monitoring tools can detect foreshocks and ground deformation, they still cannot provide precise warnings in real time. This uncertainty emphasizes the importance of preparedness and continued research to mitigate potential disaster. In conclusion, while we cannot predict the exact moment when the next big earthquake will strike, the signs suggest that the shrouded rift fault is approaching a critical point. Scientists continue to monitor the area closely, and residents are advised to remain vigilant, reinforcing infrastructure and ensuring readiness for the possibility of a major seismic event in the near future. How prepared are we? Preparedness is the key to minimizing damage when a major earthquake strikes. But how prepared is Nevada for an event of this magnitude? Despite being in an earthquake-prone region, Nevada has less stringent building codes compared to California. Many older structures were not built to withstand high-magnitude quakes, meaning a major event could result in widespread destruction. Experts urge residents to develop earthquake emergency plans, secure heavy furniture, and stay informed about local emergency procedures. Governments and scientists are now working on updating Nevada's seismic risk assessments and pushing for improved infrastructure resilience. But will these efforts be enough? What can we learn from this? The discovery of the shrouded rift fault is a stark reminder that we still have much to learn about Earth's seismic forces. This revelation challenges our understanding of Nevada's geological history and its seismic landscape, raising urgent questions about preparedness and risk mitigation. Scientists had long believed that Nevada's earthquake activity was largely constrained to previously mapped faults, but this newly identified fault proves that there are still hidden dangers beneath our feet. One of the most critical takeaways from this discovery is the need for improved seismic monitoring. If a previously unknown fault of this magnitude has remained undetected until now, what other geological hazards might we be overlooking? Advances in technology, such as LIDAR scanning and satellite imaging, have played a crucial role in identifying faults like this one, but there is still room for significant improvement. Investing in more comprehensive seismic surveys and monitoring systems could help predict future earthquakes and minimize potential damage. Furthermore, the presence of the shrouded rift fault brings into question Nevada's current building codes and infrastructure resilience. Unlike California, which has stringent earthquake-resistant construction regulations, Nevada has not faced the same level of scrutiny. Should Nevada now reevaluate its policies and invest in seismic retrofitting for older buildings? Considering the potential for devastating earthquakes, this may not just be a matter of precaution, but of necessity. Beyond scientific and structural implications, this discovery also underscores the importance of public awareness and preparedness. Earthquakes can strike with little warning, and ensuring that communities have proper emergency plans in place could save lives. Are residents in Nevada aware of the risks? And do they know how to respond in the event of a major earthquake? So, what do you think? Should Nevada invest more in earthquake-proof infrastructure? Do you believe this fault could be the next ticking time bomb? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth explorations of the world's most intriguing discoveries. Until next time, stay safe, stay curious.